Hi guys, Obi Dave here. And I am Ash. Together, we are Obi Dave and I'm Ash. On our bank holiday. Bank holiday in England, which means that people with jobs get a day off. Well, and people without jobs have someone you know with them all. Well, day you say I get a day alone. off, but in my current role, normally one of us has to cover the bank holiday. We just got lucky that everything had been scheduled to keep patients out of obviously bank holiday Monday. Yeah. Which is great. <laughs> Well, the reason I paused at the beginning is because I've queued up two Conan videos. Right. Conan in Italy with Jordan Schlansky. Which we talked about. Which we talked about the other day. But I queued up the first one, Conan and Jordan Schlansky's Italian road trip and then Italian wine tasting. Mm -hmm. I accidentally played you before I did this one. And I think, you know, maybe this one's you've got to do first. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But hey. Hey, yo. Uh, right, before we get into it, just want to say, if you love Always Sunny in Philadelphia as much as I do, you get to see Ash watch it for the very first time over on Patreon. And I'm loving it. I yep. am. Full, I, I insisted on a binge today. Full episode watch-alongs. Yeah. We are season two, episode four, we've just done. Yes. So we, I think we've done 11. Yes. So if you're headed over there, you've got 11 episodes mm. to catch up on. We release every Saturday, five o'clock. That's the one. Yeah, there you go. Right then, Conan and Jordan Schlansky's Italian road trip. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for it? I am. I, I'm actually really enjoying <laughs> their sort of duo sort of... Re- yeah, yeah and Conan is just a lunatic, isn't he? He's such a lunatic. Off his chops. Let's do it. He's got the perfect... Every time Jordan visits Italy, he rents a red Fiat in Florence and drives south through Tuscany. He'd always driven alone until now. This is a Fiat Cinquecento 1962. I've been in small cars in my life. This is the smallest car I've ever been in. This car would fit in the glove compartment of my car in America. I don't think it's safe. It doesn't clearly have airbags. Uh, it has a windbag. <laughs> <laughs> so you've come into this with a predisposition about what a car should be, now, what travel should be. This is a road trip. This is the trip. This is the high point of the trip. It's not about the destination. It is the journey. You think you're saying profound things, but most of what you say is the kind of stuff a 15-year-old girl yes. writes in a yearbook. Yeah. I think Yoda <laughs> writes half your dialogue. <laughs> Vacation begins <laughs> in your mind it does. <laughs> Understand that this car may not have modern conveniences that you're used to, but like I said, as humans, we don't need much. Why do you keep referring to us as humans? He says this with the coffee machine. Only an alien talks that. He says this, and he's got like what well, yeah. he kept all those figurines as well, and he, he's got the expensive coffee machine that he won't let anybody else use because he use it properly. AI generated, isn't he? He is. He's just he's double standards. He's oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you may not have modern conveniences that you're used to, but like I said, as humans, we don't need much. Why do you keep referring to us as humans? <laughs> Only an alien talks that way. I think it's the value to step outside yourself and examine yourself from an objective standpoint. And outside really yourself, you must step. <laughs> right. What I like to do is drive around here. I have very specific music that I like to listen to. Oh. For example, the second verse, let's say, of Ultimo Ray by Andrea Bocelli from the Chile Guess what? He's I looked so into it. Play that music would cost us a lot of money. So uh, I had the band make us up some music that doesn't cost us anything. <laughs> now you see, this sounds uh, very stereotypical to me, almost to the point of insulting. <laughs> One of the sound effects department, I brought some sound effects. You want to listen to those? But we can also uh, have silence as well if we want to just uh, listen to this. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Senor Jordan, but we don't have the exact kind of wine that you wanted. Is that okay? <laughs> He's nearly one. He's coming. Uh oh. Oh, the car stalled, huh? Hold on. <laughs> I gotta start it, start it up again. Okay, now let's see. <laughs> You're cheering you. You have a 
guitarist turned on. Why is he your bass? That's sound effects of a car peeling out. You're presuming that peeling out would be superior to what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jordan. Hold on. Okay, hold on. See the, hold on. Keep the emergency brake yeah, on. Yeah. Using, well, the emergency brake's on. I don't even think that that's a brake lever. I think that's a breadstick. <laughs> this car is a toy. It's a pastry. We're driving around basically in an old walnut. Uh, and we are stuck on a hill. And every time you try and start the car, we roll backwards. Think about getting this car started and be very careful with your valuable Conan payload. Oh, can you stop the car for a second? Stop it? Yeah. Just one other thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are a fool. You yourself as a sophisticated and academic, you know, an intellect, and you're a fool. I mean, this is like, uh, this is like toddler humor, you know? All your training has led you to this. I mean, you laugh me. <laughs> yes! I think some of that laughing's about frustration, you know, as I well. Don't, it's I, just like, oh, my God, again. I, I think he's he's laughing because farts are funny. Yeah. You're dead inside if you don't find farts funny. <laughs> Look at those dogs. Aren't those dogs great? I love how mellow they are. They're I'm trying more, to emulate he, them. I'm trying to enjoy the simple life. I'm trying to bask in the sun and enjoy uh, the feeling of the look, sun on my skin. Look, you just bored that it. dog. <laughs> the dog just yawned when you started talking. Did you see that? Show that on replay. You started to talk, and the dog got bored. I could get out and push it. I think the battery's dead. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> right, hurry up, hurry up. Look hurry how up. big he is. He's about 6'3, six, 6'4. Six, kind of. Yes! Yes! Did it. Yes! Go, go, go! Okay, that was good. You did well. Oh. You see what happens when you put the sound effects down and you do something constructive? <laughs> we now have a memory, we have an experience. If you lecture me, the farts are coming back. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I, I think obviously they, they're hoping Jordan just stays blank face, but it's impossible when these fart jokes in there. It's great when he, he cracks he, though. I know he, he proper cracked when he put the baby on as well. He, you see him and he had to like look out the window yeah. and he was doing this and he was trying so hard to cover his mouth. That was too funny. It's that sort of like older brother, younger brother relationship oh, yeah, in there where it's like, for God's sake. 100%. But still funny. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, uh, yeah, next we are going to do, it's going to be a separate video, obviously, Conan and Jordan yes. uh, Italian wine tasting. There is one where they go to a coffee shop as well. Okay. I need to try and find it. I, th I think we do the Italy thing and then we'll move on to other Conan ones. Okay. So maybe we'll just binge all the it Italy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Hope you guys enjoyed that too. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. It does mean the world to us. And we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.